guys, welcome back. So today I have a combo haul for you guys. I actually, here's what happened. I woke up this morning, checked my email. It's the first thing I do. I don't really have a good reason for that, but it really is the first thing I do. And I actually had a email in there because I'm part of like the membership thing for natural grocers. And they were doing like a $5 off if you spent 25. So I was like, maybe I'll go there today. So that's what I did for my first stop. And then after that, because I did not get everything there, we went to Trader Joe's. So I have two for you this time. I do. Now, when we first moved here last year, I want to say it was within the first month or two, I went to Natural Grocers for the very first time. We did not have one in our previous town. And I remember at that time that I asked, you know, if you had one where you are, and it was very 50-50. Like some of you do and you love it. And then some of you had never heard of it before, which was where I was coming from too. Now, the cool part about it is, is that it is all organic, all the produce. So when you walk in, there's no organic section you're just in the clear now I thought that would be good too because if you caught my last vlog and even last week's haul I shared with you guys getting a ton of produce to do our own like at home juicing and then again yesterday on the vlog I showed two recipes that Nate is really really enjoying so I wanted to restock for making more juices this coming week as well so that's what I did and I thought it'd be good if everything could be organic however with that said I guess sort of the con could be and this is what I discovered and we're like okay we're gonna go to Trader Joe's after is I needed oranges celery pineapple and those were three things that they just did not have in the store at all and I'm assuming it's probably because they couldn't get their hands on it in an organic variety you know so that can be kind of the downfall the other thing I will say is I do feel like a lot of their staple items are a little pricey um, including like milks and stuff like plant milks although they did have the Muwala one I almost got it that is good if you've never had that before I highly recommend trying it out at least once as a treat delicious I really really like that they have a great variety Variety of frozen foods too, lots of vegan options, but I think they're primarily known for their uh, organic produce and then also very much a supplement store. I will say that it's kind of like a mini Whole Foods, but more emphasis on like supplements. So if you're looking for something in that realm, I'm sure you will find it there for sure, like herbal natural stuff. I'm just saying it's a huge section of that, but I haven't been in a while and I'm glad I went just to check it out again and support them as well. But again, then we did go over to Trader Joe's and I did get my hands on a few new things. Nothing too exciting that's like the big talk right now, but a few things. So I thought I'd share that with you guys too. But I just wanted to give you kind of the rundown a little bit. Hope you guys are having a great start to your week. Thank you so, so much always for coming back and spending your Monday with me. And I'm just gonna share this with you guys and I'll put the prices with everything and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I'll start with, ooh, I need to get stuff out of the freezer. This happens, hold on. All right, got it. I, I do that from time to time, I forget. Anyway, I will start with the natural grocers stuff first just because we went there first and where my mind was at and then why I got the things I got at Trader Joe's once I left here. Anyway, so what I did get was a couple pears here and again, to go for juicing. And again, check out my vlog yesterday if you're wanting some juicing inspiration. I have two recipes on that uh, video and I'm telling you, Nate swears by them and I'm not gonna lie, the beet one, really really good it really is so with that I got two beets here as well I did go ahead I know we're creatures of habit but three poblano peppers and I am gonna make again a huge batch I shared last week as well on a what I eat in a day my sofritas recipe it's just a staple I asked Nate too I was like do you want it again do you want a break and he's like no I want it again for like taking it to work and like as a meal prep it's just our go-to we love it it's awesome so I needed to get some more poblanos for that and and then I got three bunches here of spinach. The thing that they also didn't have, um, but also Trader Joe's, Joe's doesn't even have that too, is red chard. That is something I used in the juice last week too. Um, but since they didn't have it, I got a little extra kale and then a little extra spinach. But it's totally fine too. But that is technically a difference. But yeah, two big bunches here of the dino kale as well. Got four Granny Smith apples. And then I'm not gonna lie, I did get this because it was there and I was like, I need my iceberg lettuce. You guys know I love my burgers wrapped in iceberg lettuce, but this one's kind of pitiful. It is. 
So I caught another one at Trader Joe's. Anyway, <laughs> but I did get that too. I mean, I'll still eat it, but it's just, it's pretty small. Anyway, got some honey crisp apples too. You guys know the drill. I love honey crisp apples. So delicious. Got a couple onions as well for the sofritas. And then a big bag here, five pounds of organic carrots. I have a little bunch left from last week, but again, when you're juicing them, you go through them very quickly. And luckily these are pretty cheap too, which is good. I got a thing here of mixed greens, the Organic Girl brand. I think this is also at Whole Foods, this brand. It like ringing a bell to me. So I got a big old thing of that. And then I wanted to stock up on bananas. So I'm like completely out. I have one banana, <laughs> just one. We go through these a lot for smoothies, freeze them. And so that's why I wanted to get more because I'm completely out right now in the freezer. And I really, really love again on that what I eat in a day, I shared a like kind of coffee protein shake and you have to have a frozen banana. It makes all the difference in the world. <laughs> so I wanted to get some more of that plus we do the oatmeal uh, bake I call it my oatmeal cake and we use three bananas for that when I make it and I do that like twice a week now so I'm gonna be getting more bananas I think going forward for sure anyway also I noticed that they had all of the varieties of the follow your heart cheeses they had a great selection of cheeses that was really cool to see and I thought the price point actually was not bad at all so I got a couple more of these these are so good if you're not even vegan I'm telling you like if you are a fed and blue cheese person hear me out just try this i think you're going to be blown away <laughs> so good i love it you can find it at whole foods as well and then this was cool to see do you guys remember when i tried this for you it's been a few months now it's sort of new um i think it did come out three or four months ago i would say now but this is a great like alternative to the york peppermint patty super similar and unfortunately yorks are not vegan because they have egg white in them i will say the cream in here is a little gooier it's delicious don't get me wrong and whereas like york peppermint patties are a little bit like firmer i guess but otherwise like solid replacement i love it but for whatever reason this particular flavor is hard to find uh this brand totally at whole foods they have a huge like variety of different kinds but for whatever reason this one's kind of hard to find so when i saw it there i was like yes because you know i love mint i love it so i got that they also had this on sale too with like a dollar off coupon too and i thought it was a really good price i think it was like seven or eight bucks which really isn't too bad for these sweet drops this is what nate likes to put into his coffee he really likes that so i thought we'd take advantage and stock up on that and then my kiddo loves the light life hot dogs it's been a while though since he's had them and he saw those there and wanted those and i said done done and done so got some of those and then i have had these before but i don't know if i've had this flavor the sun-dried tomato and basil it just sounded so good simple mills really really good these are like they're almond flour crackers but i would say they're very similar to like a wheat thin that's how i would describe them they're really really good um but yeah again i want to try out that flavor just thought dipped in some hummus which we do still have from last week and then two boxes here of the chocolate brownie z bars you guys know my kiddo loves these so it's quick easy throw in his school lunch and then these were the two items that I uh, pulled out of the freezer. My kiddo loves these. You guys know the uh, So Delicious uh, Vanilla Bean Ice Cream Sandwiches. They also have French Vanilla too, but they just have the Vanilla Bean uh, there today. And you can also find these, I believe, at Smith's, which also is known as Kroger. I think Walmart might even have them too, but he loves these. They're a good little size too. There's eight in here and they're pretty small, but also enough. He likes them, he does. And this, they also had a dollar off coupon. I think it came out to like three bucks or so. I love this, my friends. Keep it in your freezer. Now you can keep it in the like refrigerator too, I think, right? But I keep it in the freezer and I love the texture of it. So like a whip topping, so that would be the fridge. But I'm telling you, do it in the freezer. And it kind of takes on this like whip topping, like a cool whip, but meets ice cream where it's a little bit more firm because it was in the freezer. Oh my gosh, it's so good with like fruit. Highly recommend, I do. <laughs> so that was everything from Natural Grocers and then I'll show you what I got over uh, from Trader Joe's. And I haven't put my dishes away, that's real life. <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, did get one pineapple here. And again, because they did not have any at Natural Grocers and we need this for juicing. Looks good, like a good one too. Same with the celery here. So got some organic celery. And then actually, I want to say this was like almost three dollars because it was the organic one but for whatever reason it wasn't scanning right and she was like oh, I'm just gonna do it for two and I said well thank you so I think it was three though technically and then got some of the microgreens here you guys know we love these they're so good delicious on avocado toast and such oh my goodness on that same kick some avocados these are those teeny tiny ones yeah, these are good. They're really like a good single serve size. Got some oranges too, because again, they did not have those at Natural Grocers. I'm going to skip here for a second though to one of the new items. Have not seen this online or anything, but it was in the new item section. And I actually thought this was like a pretty clean, good blend. It sounded like it made me think of it because it's like uh, the Power C, right? Vitamin C blend here. And it's uh, oranges, pineapple, mango, lemon juice, cherry powder, and not from concentrate. So if you're looking at the ingredients there, it's very clean. I don't know. We'll see. Thought we could try this out too. Of course, we're going to juice everything that we do have, but that, that has a good shelf life. It's like till December, you know, if you don't open it. So you can have it like the following week. But I wanted to share that with you. That's a new one too. Anyway, got again, like I said, another iceberg lettuce here. See, this one's a little more hearty. This is good. <laughs> anyway, got that. And then also one of the vegan spinach and cashew raviolis. These are so delicious, my friends. So, so good. So got one of those as well. This launched a few months back now, and I have yet to hear like one person that doesn't like it. It's awesome. And got some limes here too. Do you guys want an update? I'll show you in the fridge. I showed you last week that there's six in here that I've been storing them now in the fridge with water. And I guess it's supposed to make them last for like months and months. And the only thing is with limes is it'll kind of fade the outside of them. And it's already starting to do that, I see. But they are fresh. I will show you. See, they're kind of discolored, but they're still super fresh, but it works. But this apparently was the hack with the lemons first. And I was like, well, why can't we do it with limes? Here we are, it's fantastic. <laughs> And then I also got the Omega Trek Mix here, the individual bags. This is so simple, quick and easy for Nate to throw into his lunch to take to work with him. So got those, you get 10 in here. And then this is new to my friends. I have seen this going around. I am so excited to try these, the Crunchy Chili Onion Peanuts. Oh my goodness, this has my name like all over it. I love peanuts. You guys know like peanut butter, that's my thing. And this blend just sounds so good. So it's peanuts, sunflower oil, dried bell peppers, red chili peppers, salt, onions, garlic, paprika, corn syrup. Okay, I'm in. I know I'm gonna love it, I just know it. <laughs> Got some veggie sticks here too for my kiddo to take uh, to school too, quick, easy, you know. Got four things of tofu as well. When I make the sofritas, which again, I will link that recipe below for you guys if you wanna check it out. I highly recommend you try it. It's my favorite like at-home recipe, it really is. It does call for two bricks of tofu. If you do that, it'll be extra saucy, which is not a bad thing because that's really good over rice and stuff too. But sometimes I'll throw in even an extra brick to just to make it go even further, you can kind of play with it. But I just wanted to make sure we were stocked up so that I can do that too. Now it is technically the morning of Sunday, which means if you know, you know, we are going bowling <laughs> right after this. So I, if you feel like I'm rushing, it's cause I am, I can tell that they're like ready to go. <laughs> Anyway, uh, with that, Nate wanted to get one of these to take with him to have at the bowling alley, the spicy lentil wrap. This is Nate's like favorite, favorite thing. He loves it. They are very, very good. They definitely are. So that one is vegan and they have like a veggie wrap too. And they're usually right next to each other, but this one's really good and it's not super spicy, but I've mentioned this before because some of you have asked like, is it really spicy? What do you think? And I will tell you again, even Nate loves it and he doesn't really love spice. 
and most of the time it's really not that spicy at all it's mostly just in the dressing just a little kick to it however since they're freshly made sometimes it varies a little bit it can so i don't want to tell you wrong but i think you're gonna like it even if spice is not like totally your thing <laughs> anyway got three bags here too of rigatoni you guys know my kiddo loves that and then again there's that power seed juice and this is also new, these uh, Thin and Crunchy Pretzel Slims. They're kind of basic, but I love me some pretzels. So, I mean, again, dunked in hummus, we are good to go. But these are newer. Got four cans here of the reduced fat coconut milks. And again, I use these for the Sofrida's recipe as well. So I just wanted to stock up on those. Got one bag of the frozen potato fries too for my kiddo in mind. He loves those. They're really good. Got two things of almond milk too. I'm still good on oat milk, but I needed some more almond milk. And then my kiddo also really likes the brown rice rice cakes and they're like the best price at Trader Joe's. I got them, I think last week at Whole Foods and they're like $1.50 more for the identical thing. So Trader Joe's wins on that. And then I also got two things here of the Korean beefless bulgogi. This is amazing, my friends. We did a taste test completely dedicated to this. We love it. It's awesome. Very, very good. Yeah. I think the macros are pretty decent too. You know what I'm saying? And then last here, we got the organic French baguette as well. I don't know why Nate grabbed it and he has an idea with it. So there it is. <laughs> anyway, that was everything from Trader Joe's. I will put the total here. I hope you guys enjoyed a little combo haul this week. Thank you so, so much for watching my friends and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.